Guys, guys, gentlemen, lads. What's going on? Summer Del Piso back once again with another video. We got a wonderful backdrop here. So I felt the, the compulsive need to capture it as the backdrop as uh, for one of these videos that I have no idea of what I'm gonna use to talk about. But um, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about something. We're gonna talk about something, I promise. In our personal journeys, in our personal journeys, we will not be receiving any confirmation, any support, right? We're not going to receive any sort of coaxing or pushing in the direction of ascension. You will not receive it. I'm here to tell you the horrible, dark, deep, evil, somewhat truth. But this is reality. When you are trying to make a transition between the two worlds, the world of this, the acceptance of monotony, the acceptance of mediocre, the acceptance of subpar lives without being completely expressive with the higher realms where we have sort of shunned all that or we may have those types of lives, but we still decide to be creatively expressive even though there's a whole bunch of evidence to the contrary, being a positive person will provide positive results. There may be a lot of evidence to the contrary of that, but we do not the thing that is the easiest for us. We do the right thing, the objectively correct, the moral thing. And as practitioners of SEMA retention, we are going to receive a whole bunch of this type of uh, lack of support, um, a lot of vitriol, uh, a lot of disapproval, but that should not have any effect on your decision, on your focus. I don't wanna get hit by the bus. <laughs> that should not have any destruction or severance of focus on your personal practices. Sure, you may be young. I don't understand that we have a lot of young people on the channel, a lot of people in their, in their 20s, right? Early 20s that have yet to have an, ex an excess or if any sexual experience by which to compare this complete other opposite end of the spectrum life of semen retention with. I understand that, but I am here to tell you that experience adds a lot of passion in the voice. It adds a lot of angles. It adds a lot of insight. I have lived not, probably not as long as a 40 year old for sure, because I'm only 32, but I have had enough experiences to understand that being completely licentious, right? Or not even completely licentious, being within the motions of the world, right? The actions of the world, the sequences of the world. We have a regular job. We have a group of friends that have, are on the same frequency. You cannot talk about senior retention. You cannot talk about ascension with them. You cannot talk about the things of the higher realms with them. And then you're living your life like that all the time, neutering yourselves. I understand that life and I know I am here now to tell you that that is not the way to live. That is not the way to be as an individual. You should not neuter yourself or make yourself lesser than just because the majority of the individuals around you choose to do that. That does not mean that we do not walk with them, nor do we not walk amongst them and give them support in their personal journeys of the things of the world. You must be first and foremost for the practice of semen retention to ascend or whatever your personal reasons will be because at the end of the day, it will lead you towards an accelerated ascension. You will be about semen retention first and then next, it is walking with people, outreaching your hand to your enemies, outreaching your hand to your friends with no sort of preconceived notions of opening your hands or your palms to either party and guide them on their personal journeys because they will make it, they will ascend, and they will ascend in their own personal ways. We are not supposed to impose the way of semen retention on the individuals that are not ready to receive this knowledge, but rather we are a beacon, uh, we are a shining example of how lives are supposed to be when we are conducting this practice. And we show the individuals that are not on semen retention that this is the way, this is, what we, this is how we do things, right? This is, how we, this is how we live our lives, this is how we ascend. If it's not necessarily for the purpose of ascension, you know, conducting your personal practices of similar retention, this is how to do the right thing. This is not how to just get the easy way, do it the easy way. This is how to do things the right way. This bridge in the back, it represents what we are, right, essentially as retainers, this bridge right here. It's not an important bridge. It's not like some sort of technological innovation of the decade, of the century, of the, of the, the, the millennium. No, what it represents is what we are. We are individuals that bridge two worlds, two separate environments. The one on the 
whatever was it, your left, my right, over there is the world of the lower realms, the world of the low, the, the basis, the um, low vibration, which is still the physical reality. This over here is the world of the higher realms, right? The uh, Empyrean, what do you call it? Paradise in, uh, divine, in Dante's Divine Comedy. We, are, as semen retention practitioners, we bridge these two worlds, right? We bridge them indiscriminately, without prejudice, without judgment. And we walk our paths into the sunlight until we reach that singularity point where we join with all things and we ascend and we get to wherever we need to get to, right? Or whatever's next after this. Combine the two worlds. Do not be affected by the basest destructive things of the lower realm, but rather understand that it is part of the, the experience and the dimension that you currently occupy now. And we are walking through it with the higher knowledge and the experience of the gentleman of the past. And with that being said, that's all I have to say to you guys today. If you like that content, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Share the video with some peers. Like I said, I'm lost, man. I'm lost in Queens, but I felt the need to talk and I felt the need to express, which is why I made this video. Don't ever let this place get you down. It is full of different realities, full of different places, right? Full of different ideas, groups of thought. Things that will try to take you away from your singularity, your focus, right? On a point, on the correct point that is full of a lot of different rules, a lot of different traditions, and a lot of aspects of the physical reality which acts as gravity. There are these things that exist that will try to take away from your focus, your focus on the singular point, the focus is of your personal disciplines that you have. Perhaps it is the singular primary focus of semen retention. There are things in the world that will distract you, that will take you away from it. But it is life. You have to flow with it. Be water, my friends. Flow with the ebbs and flows of life, the, the rocks and the snowballs and the curveballs that life will throw at you. And always stay radiant. I shall see you guys in the next video. Woo!